Hello, GameSpot's Peter Brown. Hey, what is up, man? Uh, I've been playing a game, Peter. Me too. Yeah, uh, Jason let me know that we've both been playing Afro Samurai 2 Revenge of Kuma Volume 1 the for the yeah. PlayStation 4. Uh, boy. Also, <laughs> what kind of... what? I, I'm hitting right. You have to go right to cycle through the arbitrary order that's presented in front of you. Okay, I want to start from the beginning. Yeah. So, how do I do that? Is uh, it just a Bodhi tree? Was that it? No... Oh wait, is it? It might be. Let's just do that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, Peter. Uh, we've both been doing this for a while. I'd say. Yeah. Uh, this is top three worst games I've ever played at work. Yeah. Uh, or just period. Like, that have come out on a console <laughs> Uh, that isn't just some like weird, you know, Steam two dollar thing or something. Like this is a real game put out on a real console, and it is broken in every possible way. I mean, it functions but, sometimes, but there are so many illogical design decisions, so many poor artistic decisions, and just so many like inconsistencies. It's it's really hard to imagine how anybody looked at this and said, "We're ready to go to market. Let's do it." Yeah. Um, which apparently it wasn't even clear how to start a new game. So we're gonna start at chapter two. How about that? <laughs> oh heavens. Okay. So this picks up. It's like there's a chapter in the middle of the original game where a character kills himself. Right. This picks up where that basically right. happened. And this is based on the anime. Yes. Okay. All right. Is that still an active TV show or something? Or I don't believe so. I think there were two seasons. I'm not like a. a I don't follow this series. I'm aware of it. Uh, the first game came out in 2009. Didn't get a chance to play it. But regardless of your experience with the series, it's not a matter of understanding. No. <laughs> this game is just, just broken and boring. And wow, there's almost nothing redeeming. I was surprised when I, when I heard this came out because it's like, oh, I remember reviewing that first one and not really hating necessarily. I looked at my old review and sure enough, it's like, yeah, it's 7.5. Like, you know, this is an okay game. Uh, and this, I don't know what the hell happened here. You were telling me this is the same studio? The exact same studio. Um, the first game had a $10 million budget, apparently. This one, uh, the team is much more scrappy. Uh, reading your, budget. <laughs> yeah, it seems that way. They've, they've switched to Unity, which uh, they described presented a lot of problems when it came to optimizing shaders and such, but I, I would not begin to accuse Unity of being at fault here. Right. This Wait, is have just... you seen interviews about the making of this? No, I just, Kevin Van Ord uh, did an interview back at E3. Oh, okay. With the devs. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so far we have not seen, like, okay, this is just pretty standard combat here. Yeah. Um, I'm just assuming that we are going to see during this quick look a bunch of the stuff that you and I saw I th uh, playing the game. Like, there's tons of frame rate crazy stuff that happens here. Yeah. And also the triangle thing, like, it's trying to do, like, the Batman combat thing. It's like, not responsive. No, like 80% of the time I hit triangle, just nothing happens. Yeah. Uh, so, like, I'm conditioned to hit triangle from Batman, and I'm hitting it when you see the thing show up, but it is not doing anything. I think I can get you stuck in the geometry. Is it in this level, or...? I believe so. If okay. you go... <laughs> okay. Well, let's see, it might be right after this. Oh, Yeah, no. you keep getting shot with these arrows. Okay, go around... Oh, uh, maybe it's around this corner. Okay, yeah, so go to your left here. Okay. And just keep going, and then like try to jump a bunch, <laughs> but like go as far to the edge as you can. Oh. Okay. Oh, I don't know oh, why you're almost there. That. Like right here? Yeah, yeah, kinda. I got stuck there. Uh, in addition to other places where I fell through the map. Um, oh. Uh. Uh. Maybe there's a secret over here. <laughs> there we go. There you go. That's fun. Yeah. So the only way to, I got out of this was by hitting start and then jumping like immediately after getting out of the menu. But, um... Oh, yeah, I'm just way stuck you're here. You're totally okay. stuck. There's nothing you can do. Okay, so we're gonna do, uh... Oh, Which is the strangest menu yeah. for a samurai game. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Man. Uh, also, load time's not great no. in a lot of these areas. Yep. Uh, very short game. You were telling me you beat it in about two hours, right? Yeah, I mean, it's an episodic thing. This is the first one. Right, right. Uh, and are they doing, like, a season pass type situation? I have no idea. I'm sure they're trying to get every dime that they can. I just can't Indeed, believe yes. they can live with themselves charging money for this. Did you... <laughs> so they give you all these objectives, um, and 
part of this game is that you're going through this character's past, which is like tragic, and he loses all these family members. Yeah. Did you come across these mission objectives that say... I tweeted several of them. The yeah. one where it's uh, like, uh, confront the fact that everyone you've ever loved is dead, and all you have left are your memories. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, what was the other one? I tweeted out, like, three different ones. From this level, I think, so we'll, we'll yeah. probably see him. Yeah. Man, this game! Yeah. Yeah, like, confront the pain that you were not able to save your family. I mean, there's... A good game would present characters and, you know, allow you to see what they experience, you sort of sympathize with them. This game just tells you how to feel. It yeah. doesn't waste any time. You are sad, your family's dead! <laughs> Hit square! <laughs> Skill point unlocked. <laughs> yeah, so there's like three skill trees in the game that you use which, to unlock. Which you can't see here. You can't see here. You can get to the menu. Look but at you, that gorgeous screen. Is though. it a gas mask? Just, uh, I have no fucking idea what that is. <laughs> fucking laser tag arena. I don't know what it that is. It looks like there's a giant, like, Ava in the middle, like, emerging from some. <laughs> a giant Ava? Yeah. What's an Ava? Fuck it. Neon Genesis? I have no idea what you're oh, talking about. Oh, you don't about. watch anime, do you? Oh, God, no. Well, oh, but this no. is like a classic one. Anyway. Wait, what's happening here? Not important. Oh, uh, uh, you're playing Afro Samurai 2, Dan. Oh, obviously. I see. <laughs> oh, that's our mistake. <laughs> oh, boy. God, I just, I feel bad because, like, I bet there are people that really, really like the TV show and they're just like, oh, sweet, a game based on that show I love. Yeah. And then they buy it and it's like, like, I did that. I used to buy Ren and Stimpy games on Super Nintendo right. because I loved Ren and Stimpy. And I would try to convince myself that I liked them or that they were passable. But compared to this, they were, I mean, they, they were fucking Mario World compared to this. Let it go, Afro. What's All right, there we go. One thing we're not experiencing, which I'm kind of thankful for, when I was playing through yesterday, the audio was not like balanced or normalized properly, so it would just jump to like three times the normal like level of audio. And I assume you're playing on headphones, as yeah. we usually do. Yeah, I had work. to like throw them off of my head Jeez. because it was so painful. See, I've not had that at all, um, but I've, I've had stuff where it's like, I'll just be in the middle of fighting someone, and the dialogue for the next cutscene will just start playing over it, and then when it actually gets to the cutscene, it'll be totally silent, or I can hear myself getting attacked in the game while the cutscene's on the screen. If that makes any damn sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is just a broke-ass video game. So this little thing they're doing right here, like, I hate the crawling aspect, but the way that they're revealing these little moments, I kind of like this. Look, they, they never do it again. The it just is, becomes these big chunks of comic strip. There are a few stylistic moments in this game where I was like, oh, okay, I bet there was one guy on staff here that's like, okay, I got some cool ideas on how to present this, and then it's just the people putting the game together that, that ruined that dream, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, you may notice that your character's mouth isn't moving. Moving. Yes, but later on in the game apparently the old you know the old man that accompanies yes you, All yes. of a sudden his mouth begins to move they had the budget to <laughs> we can we can afford one moving mouth <laughs> <laughs> It's like a little big planet you fill up that thermometer if you put too many things in there and they only had room for one mouth All right, what have you done? What have you done? The this voice is, acting at large is garbage, by the way, as well. Yeah, didn't Sam Jackson do the uh, the died? first one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Although, I do actually like the soundtrack. I, I think they got uh, the Rizza to do what this it, one. So he directs it. Okay. It is, it is the but best. But not to, like, he's not, you know, rapping it or anything. No, no, no. Like, right. He picked the songs. Yeah, so, I mean, right. it is the best part of this game. Yeah. Like, there's, yeah. there's no question about it. Everything else is garbage. The soundtrack is actually really good. And I think... When it comes to like an action game like this, where you're supposed to be a little bit brave and a little bit, you know, gung ho, it actually gives you that sense of bravado. Like for me, I felt motivated a little bit. But then I started fighting, and I realized, wait, what am I thinking? <laughs> yeah, like if the game played well and I had the soundtrack, I'd be like, all right, this is pretty cool. Like I'm, yeah, kind of yeah. like all the songs are very much, you know, about being a badass or a ninja or RZA stuff. You know, RZA likes his ninjas right. <laughs> and his Shaolin styles. Uh, but my God, this fucking game! All right, let's see where we're going next. I like the the loading over the other font. The yeah. Look. Seven brothers saved Gino from sight and death after his plunge into the ocean when the orphanage was destroyed. But right. we could these chapters are very short too. I've noticed. They are. Like they'll be. Hey, but you get a trophy at each one. No, so if you want to get some quick bronze <laughs> trophies, <laughs> go for it. Oh yeah, this fun stuff. Climbing section. Yeah. Yep. So. I've not seen the uh, the anime, so I don't know if I'm. If this robot man is the one who turns into the bear man. Yes. So what we were just doing was we were playing through the scene from the original game, where basically Afro is going to like save like a dojo that's being attacked. Oh, so 
Okay, so you were playing as Afro in the first one doing that scene. Right, well, no, well, sort of, yeah. So Afro gets to that scene, ends up killing his master, who's also the master of this guy, okay. who was just the human guy that you were playing, but this is now, this is the present. Okay, now he's been all gray foxed, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> ah, look what we got here, crawling out the trash. You don't look so good, motherfucker. So there are some, uh, I just yeah. see that boss fight that you were watching me play so back uh, Giant Bomb, and, and uh, that was a really long cutscene of that guy at the bar, just mm -hmm. standing there with just the camera kind of panning slowly over him, yeah. saying nothing of consequence, it seemed. A lot of this dialogue I, I zoned out because it was just more the way they were pronouncing things than the actual things they were saying. <laughs> I, uh, there was a part two where there's a quick time event with this guy with the hammer. Oh and god, where you're spinning around, around just yeah. for like, that is the worst. Yeah, where you're just, you know, jam square for like yeah. 80 rotations, now do triangle, now do circle. This game, like, it, it puts you in a position where you think, okay, I'm going to have a boss fight. And then you either get a really minor quick time event thing. Yeah. Uh, and I think there might actually be one boss fight, but it but it's inconsequential because it's so easy like you can max out your abilities in this game halfway through it Yeah, because you just earn these skill points seemingly at random just yeah. crawl. Yeah, you know <laughs> um, oh, Like what like and then it, they put you in these scenarios where you think you have to fight or they say hey We got to this town. We have to explore this town and then it just cuts to you having found your objective with none of the the things that you were told you had to do Yeah happening your mother in a way. I had a thing in the first chapter, you know, where you have to kind of climb along the uh, the ice stuff. We just yeah. saw a little bit of that. Um, and so I played like half of that and then it just randomly cut and it just reloaded the whole like beginning cutscene and I had to do it all again. There was no death animation. I didn't die. I wasn't fighting anyone. I didn't fall. It's just like, nope, we're just going to restart the level right now. Just at random. Have you had any hard crashes? Mine crashed to the OS. Don't think I've had that now. And this is out. This is not like you know pre-release code or anything like that. Yeah, you, you can buy this now if you want to. People are paying real money and feeling bad about it. I think. Uh, yep, you could buy a sandwich with that money. <laughs> Although it's funny when I went into Twitter and I searched Afro Samurai 2 to see who was talking, there are people you know like YouTube groups being like having a lot of fun with Afro Samurai 2, like tweeting at the studio. It's like, oh no, 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 no. Who are these people? Don't. don't get that out. Certain games are you know. You can say a lot for taste and everything, but games can be objectively bad. I know. This is an objective, this is like right. sub ride to hell bad. <laughs> like that's, man, I think I gave that a 2 out of 10 when I was a Game Informer. I gave Hulk Hogan's main event a 1 out of 10. This would probably be a 1, I would think. I'm, yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> I was telling people that yesterday and they were like, well, I don't know, and I was like, you don't know. You have not. It's, and all this slowdown. This game looks like it's on PlayStation 2 and it has slowdown. Like, you wouldn't believe, because yeah. fog is so hard, apparently. Yeah, hopefully we can get to one of these fights here. Oh, this part sucks oh, this, ass. This quick time event where you succeed, you fail <laughs> in success. Like, yeah. He stabs you when you do it properly. Yep. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, this is this is fun stuff here. Yep. All right. I hit square a lot there. <sighs> Did you fail at this at all? Oh yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. It's like it should be so easy. Again. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, it shows you hitting him, but I don't actually see, like, are you elbowing him? Uh, I think giving him a little forearm there. Kissing oh, look, him? I love this kiss? cut. Watch kiss? the zoom in. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> God. Oh, this acting. Like that girl at the bar who, when you first walk in, who's telling you, like, there are two types of men, like... Oh, yeah. She's, it sounds like they just found someone who just worked at their office. Like, hey, hey, come here real quick. I need you to read a line. Like, yeah. they didn't... I'm assuming they didn't spend much effort at all finding people. Actually, the, the lead character is Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> we replaced with Nolan North. Oh, Ghosts of the Past. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> shit, I wasn't even going for that. Holy crap. <laughs> Weird. Now <laughs> I uh, Let's see. Oh, is this the one where all the family's dying? With all the, the weird abuse? Yeah, the confront your past. Yeah. Oh. Square my way through this uh, level here, and we'll probably uh, call it a day. Uh, I don't know what else there's. Like, I, I can just say it straight up. If even if you're the biggest fan in the world of this show, there is no reason to, to spend money on this. Absolutely not. If you're going in, you know what it is, and you're the type that thinks it's funny to play really shitty games, which that can be fun. I guess go for it, but this isn't even like so bad. It's good. No, yeah. Like I was having a discussion with Mike earlier. This is not. 
like deadly premonition. Oh god, no. You know no. what I mean? Like this is just bad. Yeah. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Yeah. No, you're dead. Oh no. All these stops and starts, it just Yeah, just weird abrupt cuts to cutscenes in the middle of fights, things like that. Okay, I think, Hold yeah, this on. is... I'm coming. Confront the pain of failing to save your family. <laughs> All right. Okay, I've done that. That's what? a quick time event. There's a lot Great. of weird Crash Bandicoot running at the camera type stuff, too, that yeah. doesn't really work. That's, it really slows down in that Hammer Guy it's Crash Bandicoot so section. Bad. And it's, it's not even challenging. You can... You're like waiting for the screen to move to progress. Like yeah. you're, you're so far ahead of them. It's like what? You're literally just dodging something left and right. There's there's no challenge whatsoever. Yeah, like look at just how hitchy this is here. Ugh. Like, this is not a stylistic slow mo thing. This is me at full yeah. speed fighting someone. Well, and the worst thing too is like you're attacking someone right in front of you. You're engaged with them, and so you're mashing attack. But one attack will send you like halfway across the screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> front the kill. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing it. Yeah, okay. I'm doing it. Yeah, we got to... Oh, God, silence, I feel so Peter. guilty. Yeah. <laughs> what have you done? <sighs> it's one of those things where I really would love to see just some round table with, like, five people involved in this. Be like, all right, tell the story of why this is a train wreck. I have a there hunch. there has to be a story. I have a hunch they got some investor who's never been involved with games before. They sold the promise based on the success of the anime and the original game. That guy started realizing that, hey, games are expensive to make. This is taking too long. I want this out. I want to start recouping costs. I, I, and the team I, being like, uh, okay, dude, but maybe? this game's... I, but there are artistic decisions in here that I find um, offensive okay. in some areas. Um, and just, just poor. It, I think even in a game that isn't refined and polished, which is a word that isn't great to use all the time, but... <laughs> You know, there can still be, you can see the, the phantoms of good intention. Right. You don't see that here. There, yeah, there's zero phantoms. Here. The only one that I crossed was the fact that your character is bionic, right? And therefore he is immune to the darkness that other people, humans, may succumb to. Like, he cannot be influenced by evil. Right. Because he doesn't have a heart that can, you know, and like, I'm like, okay. I can, that's a concept that I can get behind. But it's never explored, it's just mentioned. Right. What's it do? Come back! Uh, Alright, I guess I'll go this way. Yeah, it, it's very unclear sometimes. Like, it, am I going backwards now? Am I... Okay, here we go. That's the right thing. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> I have to assume they didn't get Sam Jackson. What have you done? <laughs> yeah, just... Fuck! <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Yeah, and later on, it, it introduces that style system to the combat, where it's like, hit left to do, uh, on the D-pad to switch to Afro style. And like, I wish I, sh I could show the, the trees. But, yeah. It's, actually, I, I bet if I skipped ahead, I could. But, uh, no, let, let's see if I can do that. The tree is illogical in itself, because the point of a skill tree is you set down a certain path to unlock skills that are further down that path. But you, you will get down a path, and you, say it's like health one, speed one, and then health three. Right. You're on the same line. And you, you're like, cool, I can unlock that now. And it's like, no, you need to go down a different tree, actually, to unlock that. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, why is it on that path? What is, like, they didn't think. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Can I point out what's happening here? You're just pressing buttons and nothing's happening? Uh, yeah, I'm on the level select. Or do I have to be... Oh my, I'm hitting right, just to, so people know what I'm yes, doing here. Yes, you can't hit Trying up. to get to C-Town there. Uh... Oh my... You can't hit up right, to I go to the get... one that's above the one you're on. You literally have to scroll through. Oh my... Oh, heavens. I'll try this one time here and see if I can go to that level. Okay. <laughs> there. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this this is... should put us to this boss fight that we were just talking about. Yeah. Man alive. Uh... <laughs> Jason, I don't know what our policy is here. I don't know if you have to break out the black bars. We'll yeah. See. There's a... I think boobs are fair game. Okay, fair yeah. games, boobs, all right. I'm going to preface all my criticisms here by saying that I have no problem with sexiness. <laughs> I have no problem with if somebody wants to watch porn, that porn exists. We all do, whatever. <laughs> but 
It makes no sense here. The, yeah, the way it's it's put in this game is for the the pure tit service. Like it's it's just to be like titillating and to instill like some sort of attitude to the world unnecessary. <laughs> and the way they handle it is just gross. <laughs> I can't imagine any female playing this and not just being like completely outraged because pisses me off. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, this is the first time I've seen anything uh, of that nature, you know, it's, it's like the basic ninja stuff up until this point, and then it's this weird kind of like strip club area. It's a shame you're never gonna get Oh wait, no, this is after that. Oh, yeah, damn. Yeah, so I guess you can skip to it, damn. Well, there's some sexist bullshit in this game, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what else there is to say about it. Um, it doesn't get better. Uh, I'll show the styles here real quick, but there's not even that much you know, yeah. difference here. Also, you don't really fight this guy. You just run away from him. Oh, fun. Burn this shithole to the ground. Man, if this gaming journalism thing doesn't work out. You got a fallback VO career. All right, Damn. I'm gonna go. Who oh, nope, can't, still can't play. Oh shit, Teddy Graham! Everyone's a motherfucker in this game. <laughs> Use your Kuma style! Okay, these so these are the three styles I can Ugh. funnel my infinite skill points into. Jesus. So I can go here, and yeah, the last one, nope. it, it all says it's uh, in the next episode. Have yeah, you, speed and power. Have you used all your skill points to unlock everything? Yeah, you get more skill points than you can use. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have nine skill points. It's just the steady drip feed of skill points that you can't use at all. Um, but when we play chapter power. two, we'll be able to. But like, yeah, Afro mode here, L2 and X, you can do this like slow-mo hop over them, and it'll hurt them. Uh, Kuma is where you can, like, you build finish up. your things yeah. after you get a certain combo. But half the times the, the animations just don't come anywhere close to connecting. Yeah. Uh, so like, those are like one, you use those like a limited number on one person. In the master style, you have a finisher that does everyone in the room. Yeah. Uh, and because you can max out all your abilities, it becomes easier to perform that move. You literally just do a three-hit combo and then you can use it. Yeah. But some enemies require a certain thing to kill them. Even if you're hitting them and you see blood coming out, yep. they're not going to die. I hit a person 108 times. <laughs> 108 hit combo before they finally die. Just a common enemy. Jesus Baffling. Christ. I was in one fight and I noticed I wasn't seeming to take any damage for some reason. So I set the controller down. I went and did a 90 minute live stream and came back <laughs> and they were still attacking me and I wasn't dead. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, here we go. I think these guys you have to kill using the uh, Kuma mode. Oh, okay. Oh, that finisher? Yeah. Yeah. Peter Brown, I'm done playing this game. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, uh, thank you for joining me. I'm glad someone else has uh, had to deal with this game. Me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is one of those PSA quick looks. Just in case you're thinking about uh, buying it. Don't. I, I hope we dissuaded you. So, uh, but thanks for joining me, Peter. Thank you for having me. Surprise? <laughs> I got more surprises for you there, man.